What is your weirdest public bathroom experience? I was at my local mall and wanted to use the restroom before going home. There were three stalls in the restroom. Stall 1. The seat and floor were covered in piss. Pass. Stall 2. There was a pile of toilet paper stacked higher than the bowl. No thanks. Stall 3. The handicap stall. I open the door and see one guy on his knees blowing another guy. On second thought. I think that I can wait until I get home. Once when I was about 16 I went to a Mexican restaurant for dinner with my family. And I had to pee. So I went to the bathroom. I was pissing in the urinal when a drunk dude came in and stood right by me for a moment. Then asked me. Hey kid you wanna know something really cool you can do in here? And I was like. Oh yeah sure. He then took his dick out and started pissing while walking backwards away from the other urinal. Getting piss everywhere. He was laughing and said. Dude this is some Jedi shit right here I practically ran out as quick as I can. It was super weird. Not exactly a public bathroom. But I was at his festival and I was taking a leak up against fence. For some reason I look to the right and there's a guy maybe 5 feet away. He looks up and we both quickly look away. As protocol demands. The next day I was there again. Taking a leak again. So was he. We both look up and nod at each other. Surprised and weird out. The day after I was there again and so was he. We then talked and decided to go have a beer. It must have been fate. We've met in all sorts of random places in the years since. Mostly at times when there was a huge crowd and we just ran into each other. I don't know anything about him. But we've shared a few laughs. Good times. 5 seconds after entering a highway rest area bathroom the electric hand dryer turned off. Except it wasn't the hand dryer. Some dude had been holding pitch on a nasty fart since I had walked in. Edit. Was using the bathroom stall at my work, Sears. And a guy came in to use the urinal and didn't know I was there. He made loud motorcycle noises as he pissed. Even shifting his legs around each time the gear would shift. He cut the engine as soon as I flushed the toilet. Made a beeline for the door as soon as I came out of the stall. I felt bad. He was so embarrassed. Earlier this year. Walked into a rest stop bathroom. Guy in one of the stalls was naked. Mopping sh off the walls with his shirt, which he was rinsing out in the toilet. Close bracket. Well. Not totally naked. He was still wearing his socks. His shoes were placed neatly at the door. Was once taking a shtee in the college bathrooms and this one kid walked up to the stall door. Toes sticking about 3 inches into the stall. And tilted his head so both eyes were legit looking through the door crack and asked how much longer. It was terrifying that this dude was that eager to see with 20 stroke 20 vision whether or not that stall was occupied. I laughed. Walked in on my 50 plus year old boss with his pants down around his ankles at the urinal. I. Didn't really know what to do. He didn't turn around. So I just walked right back out. This wasn't a private bathroom. China KFC. I was in this small city. The bathroom had swati potties and no doors. Saw young attractive women taking a shtee while smoking a cigarette and talking the women next to her. We made eye contact. Saw a nice log drop from her anus. Then she just nonchalantly returned to her conversation. The wife that lady will make some day. FCKS given. Zero. Walked into the restroom at a 24 hour Walmart at like 1am to find a naked middle aged woman just. Chilling in there. I held my pee until I got home. Couple weeks ago I went to a Chinese buffet. Shortly after. Emergency shti. So I'm sitting in there and some little kid comes in and starts fking around. Starts flickering the lights and then turns it off. The little fker starts throwing wet paper towel balls over the stall. Then he walks out with the lights off. This is where the act of flinging poo originated from. Was taking a stinky poop and the guy next to me was asking me to please flush that. 
I was 14 years old at an Dead Mall where a music group I was in held rehearsals. I took a break from the rehearsal to go to the bathroom and both stalls were full. I really needed to go and I didn't think there were any other bathrooms there. So I just waited it out. The people in the two stalls are dead silent for several minutes. I'm tapping my foot impatiently waiting. Then I hear one of them say. So are we gonna do this or not? Then I hear heavy breathing and something dripping on the floor. Followed by getting toilet paper to mop it up. I got out of there and just decided to hold it after that. Around the time I was in high school I was at the mall with my family and took my little brother to the food court bathroom. We walked into the door and there was a kid of about 8-9 years old with his pants around his ankles dancing up and down just peeing everywhere. When we walked into the room he stopped pulled up his pants and ran out. So that's how that happens. I have to. Both of which happened in college. I was peeing in a stall. And the guy next door to me reaches his hand underneath the stall. Tapping my foot to get my attention. I ask out loud if he wants some toilet paper or something. But he says nothing. Instead. He gives my foot a squeeze and then starts rubbing my ankle with one finger. In a panic I stomped on his hand really hard and ran out. I walked out of one of the shower stalls to see a guy sitting on the toilet across from me. Door wide open and his pants around his ankles. Talking loudly into his phone about how huge and nasty smelling his shit is. I just walked out without saying anything. My friends and I were toward the end of the night hitting the bars. So most of us were fairly intoxicated. We arrive at a new bar and my friend Joe and I decide we need to take a leak. The bathroom only has one toilet and one urinal. And a long line. When we get to the front of the line. The urinal is in use. Joe takes his place at the toilet. And I'm on deck. Then Joe leans back and yells hey. Aaron. Come cross streams with me. The guy using the toilet jumps a foot. Spins his head around to look at Joe. And goes what the fck did you say? I. Very drunk and with a full bladder. Decided fck it and stepped up next to Joe to share his toilet. The urinal dude looks extremely relieved and goes oh my god. Your name's Aaron too? I thought he was talking to me and was really freaked out. And that's how we made a new friend in the bathroom. Not all exciting. But I was at a music festival a few years ago. And the music was finished and everybody was heading back to the campsite. Stopped at a toilet block to take a shti. Lock on the door was broken. But fck it. The rest were busy and I needed to go and was drunk enough to not car. At some point. The door opens. And a girl appears at the door and sees me. Ended up having a nice conversation just me sitting taking a shti and this girl watching me and chatting. No. Before you ask. I didn't get SX. I was at a college football game. Using one of those awful trough urinals. It's busy. Naturally. And there's zero privacy, as many do. I got a bit of stage fright and ended up standing awkwardly in the firing squad lineup for just a little too long. Wouldn't have been too bad. But the guy next to me wouldn't stop complimenting me on my watch. Comma the guy next to me wouldn't stop complimenting me on my watch. And what were you wearing around your wrist? In a bathroom in Bush Gardens. We had just stopped to use the bathroom after lunch. As we washed our hands we heard mom catch. Followed by an airborne pair of soaking wet underwear which flew over the stool and promptly landed in my friend's mom's hair. She was horrified. We at least tried to convince her that we were close to the water rides. Went to take a piss at a sportsman warehouse in Fairbanks, Alaska. Three urinals. Two guys pissing already. The urinal remaining was to the left and not the middle, which was a sigh of relief for me. Started to piss when all of the sudden the guy at the right hand urinal yelled at the guy at the middle urinal. Goddammit James stop looking at my dick. Silence. I finished after both had gone and made my way back to my wife. There I saw both guys and their wives and kids and a strong tense feeling among the husbands at each other. So awkward. Sounds more like best friends making a stranger feel uncomfortable for shts and giggles. 
old man got arrested for cruising in the bathroom of Pearson Airport in Toronto. I was just taking a piss and I heard some guy in the stall say man what the fck are you doing. Went back to my gate while I waited for my flight which was right next to that bathroom. Watched an old man come out. Get questioned by police and then arrested. I used to go see the Christmas Carol every year when I was a kid at a local theater. IDK of this guy was on drugs but he had a prosthetic leg and was acting really strange. Anyways at the end of the play I went to take a shti and wheel sometimes it takes me a minute on the toilet. I don't like to rush. Well I guess this guy was waiting on the stall or something because I see him peek into the crack of the door and then begins to tell everyone in the bathroom that kid take a poo that kid take a poo when I finished I f king booked it out of that bathroom. To this day I can just remember the raspy voice of that old man saying that kid take a poo. At my college there was this one washroom that everyone knew as the best pooping washroom. It was small. Minimal stalls. Lots of ambient noise. And a bit hidden away so not a lot of traffic. It's one of the best washrooms if you have a shy brown eye. So my 11. 00 ass trash arrives and I book it to the poop room. First stall is taken. That's fine. This is an established safe pooping zone by all accounts. Third stall is decimated. So I'm left with the middle. But of course as I sit down I realize first stall is actually occupied by some chicks sitting on the floor. Crossed leg reading a damn book. So her face and my ass were pretty much having a conversation between a thin sheet of metal. I contemplated unloading as aggressively as I could. That's when you leave and come back with a water bottle with a sports top. Stand up. Facing the throne. Start to stream the bottle into the bowl then sneeze cough and blast a stream onto the floor under that stall wall. Apologize profusely. Old woman in an airport didn't lock the door and it was slightly open. So me in my sleep deprived state saw door ajar and went yes open stall. Pushed the door open and made super awkward eye contact with this really old woman. She was changing clothes for some reason. One time I was at my hometown NFL team's game, Baltimore Ravens, and it's the end of the game having myself a pee in the men's room before leaving when all of a sudden this drunk white trash chick comes and pulls down her pants and puts one leg above the urinal and starts peeing and giving everybody the finger saying to stop staring at her PSSY. It was hilarious I wish I had gotten it on video but had a flip phone at the time. A friend of mine went to a porta potty after a concert. He was sitting and minding his own business when he felt the whole toilet unit being lifted up by a forklift and loaded onto a truck. He started yelling and frantically pounding on the door. He heard the engine of the forklift stop. Then quickly reverse and lower the unit back down. The driver was quite apologetic for the mistake. At a gay bar. Two dudes in a stall. I couldn't tell if they were jerking each other off or doing lines of coke. Didn't care either way. 50 stroke 50 risk as to whether you should ask if you can give them some money for a bit of that. Not sure if this is weird or just embarrassing. The first time I ever got drunk my older brother and some of his friends took me bowling. I probably had 6 beers as a small teenager and was decently stoned. The entire night someone would get up and go to the bathroom. And I'd realize a second later that I needed to as well. So I'd more or less follow them to the men's room. Eventually one stall was occupied and the other was clogged. Fine. I thought. I'll wait. So I did. I sat on the counter at first. Until my drunk ass brain decided to see what it was like under the sink. So I was just chilling under the sink when a woman walked in. Saw me and asked what the fck are you doing? I slowly realized that I was in the wrong bathroom. Hiding under the sink and without saying a word I got up and stumbled out. In my freshman year of high school I couldn't find a bathroom because I was new to the school. I walked around and around. Finally finding one on the other side of the school from my classroom a couple of minutes before the bell was going to ring. I went in. Trying to be fast. And in the toilet were meatballs. Someone dumped meatballs in the toilet. A few months later. I went to a different bathroom. And there were more meatballs. They're inescapable. 
there were a bunch of used condoms on the ground in a bathroom I went to. I really had to go badly. So I had to step awkwardly around them. Your username suggests you won't mind actually. Heard a guy fking a hooker in a Vegas bathroom stall. Not weird as funny but. I was in a bathroom at a Walmart doing my thang when I see a foot come from under the stall next to me and start tapping their toe. I kind of just sat there like WTF until I heard my sister laughing her head off. She explained to me that I guess some people do that to see if that person is interested in having gay sex with. Both females or mayo, not sure if true. But still pretty funny. When I was in high school. I found myself making use of one of the urinals. One of the kids from the special needs class walked up to the one right next to the one I was using. He pulls his pants all the way down around his ankles and pulls his shirt up and starts peeing. A few seconds later. I noticed him staring at me very intently. Before I could even react. In one fluid motion he snatched the glasses from my face and threw them across the bathroom. It was probably the closest I have ever come to punching a retro dead person. Walked into my dorm bathroom at college. Heard someone's razor. No one at the sinks. No one taking a shower. I turn the corner and under the stall door I see a kid standing in front of the toilet. Pants on the ground. Shaving his pubes. Where would you rather he shave his pubes? Walked into a public bathroom when I heard the following from a closed stall. Oh. Oh god. Oh no. Not like this. Not again.